Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig, and I just got some BIC 4 leather conditioner, and I'm gonna try this out for the first time on my boots today. You guys have been talking a lot about it, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So let's get into it. When you guys mentioned that this leather conditioner was the way to go, I wanted to give it a shot because uh, taking good care of my boots is really important to me because I know that they can last a lifetime when they are taken care of. So, this is the first time I'm gonna use BIC4. Uh, it says, shake well before using. Directions, always test a small hidden area before using. If the item is dirty, clean with BIC1 leather cleaner, then apply BIC4 liberally with a cloth. Let dry and buff. Repeat as necessary. Do not use on suede, rough out, distressed, napped, or any pre-treated leathers. And today I'm gonna to be using it on my regular black boule boots, uh, which have a little bit of water stains here. Uh, not too bad, so it's pretty clean. Uh, so I'm just gonna go right ahead and use the leather conditioner. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it. It's not like these were in the mud or anything recently. I guess we'll shake it and then give it a go. All right, apply liberally with a cloth. So I'm just gonna use this t-shirt here and sort of pour, whoa, geez, a little bit excited there. <laughs> it says test out on an area. I didn't do that, I forgot. Just going right at it. I'm interested to see how this buffs out and how it shines. That's one thing that I'm looking for because I like a shiny boot when possible, especially these black boots. Black boots look really good when they're shined up. So uh, we'll have to see how it stacks up against the shoe polish that I usually use. I'm gonna be using a brush and another rag to buff this out once it dries. Wow, I'm already kind of impressed with this. this. These boots already look full of life, much more full of life than they did previously before I started. All right, let's try the other boot. Gotta make sure I get in where the stitching meets the sole here. We gotta condition everything really well. All right, the left boot is now all conditioned, so I'm gonna let that dry and revisit the right boot. Uh, I'm gonna take the brush to it and see what happens. I already, it feels much smoother. It feels very soft after conditioning that. Wow, that is a huge difference. That is, that is incredible. Already I'm feeling this leather be so much softer. All right, I'm gonna use this brush and, uh, oops, and uh, we'll see how this shines up. And of course the brush is only part of the shining process where you can take another clean rag and rub it down and get even more shiny. So here's a separate rag here that I'm just going to be using for shining. Okay, so it appears to not be as shiny as the boot polish, but it still has a nice, a nice little bit of shine to it. I have seen these boots shinier, uh, but again, this is, this is really nice and they feel very soft, much softer than they do after the boot polish, which feels very waxy and uh, very strange, the shoe polish, excuse me. Uh, this, these boots look great. 
Wow, that conditioner is really something special. Thank you guys for the suggestion on that. All right, now we might as well do the left boot. So you can sort of see a difference here. This is the one I just buffed, and this is the one that is still to be buffed. Uh, it does make a little bit of difference. I can tell more with my eyes than through the monitor of the camera, uh, although uh, maybe that's just the monitor of the camera. Uh, this definitely looks a little bit more full of life than this over here, but we'll, we'll bring this one up to this, this stature here in a second. First, the brush. All right, here we go. Leather conditioned with Bic 4. They look great. Thank you so much, guys, for suggesting that I use Bic 4. Like I said, I've never used it before. I like how shiny it got, although there is definitely room for improvement. I don't see any reason why I couldn't do the shoe shine, the black shoe shine on top of this. Uh, the main important part is that now these are conditioned and they are looking great and feeling great as well. Thanks again for the suggestion. I really appreciate it. And um, if you are new to boots and looking for something con to condition, I definitely recommend the Big Four as well now. So thank you everybody and thanks for watching. Leave your comments uh, if you have any other recommendations for boot care. Uh, because I am open to any and all suggestions. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good one. Peace. We take care of our boots so that they will look so nice, but also so they will last our entire lives. And maybe we can pass them down to the next generation.